Oh, my dear Quasimodo, you don't know what it's like out there. The world is cruel, and you are deformed and ugly. You will be shown little pity. You must believe me. I am your only friend. And how can I protect you, my dear boy, unless you stay in here? Remember, Quasimodo, this is your sanctuary. Yes, Master. You've come to Paris in her darkest hour, Captain. It will take a firm hand to save the weak-minded from being so easily misled. Misled? Sir? For twenty years, I have been taking care of the gypsies. And yet, for all my success, they have thrived. I believe they have a safe haven within the walls of this very city. What are we going to do about it, sir? Stamp them out. One by one. You make your point quite vividly, sir. Stop her! <laughs> huh? You there! Have you seen a gypsy woman? Nope. Sorry. All right. Thanks. I'm terribly sorry, sir. We've lost her. Mm, slippery vermin. I'm beginning to question having summoned you back from the wars, Captain Phoebus. Thank you. You stood up for me. I'm Esmeralda. Riku. And it's not like I know what a gypsy is. Why are they chasing you? Judge Frollo has been hunting us for years. We gypsies are guilty of nothing but loving our freedom. Yet Frollo hates whatever he can't control. Now he's even brought in fresh blood to torment us. I'd hate to know what darkness drives that man. I think I can imagine. Tell me more. Was he always like this? I don't give Frollo much thought. But, if you'd like, you could try Notre Dame. They say it's a place for answers. Is anybody here? Who... who are you? I'm Riku. Oh, my name's Quasimodo. I'm very sorry, but the Archdeacon is away. Actually, I'm looking for a man named Frollo. Do you know where he is? My master? He said he had business on the outskirts of the city. Do you mean you know him? Oh, yes. He's... he's very kind. Master Frollo saved my life. He protects me from the outside world. He protects you from it? The people out there would be cruel to me. I'm a... M monster, you know. Is that what Frollo told you? Trust me. Looks can be deceiving. A good friend sees you for who you are, no matter what face you wear. You should go out there. Find some friends who understand you. Oh no. My master forbids it. I'm not to set foot outside. Are you sure that's what's stopping you? Because I think something else is holding you back. Ask your heart, Quasimodo. I'll check the edge of town. Thanks. 
Wish I could take my own advice. Me? I've never seen you before. Your name? I'm Sora. Such disgusting attire. I know what you are. Judge Frollo! Sir! What is the matter, Captain Phoebus? Can't you see? I am interrogating this gypsy. This kid here? But, sir, he's just a boy. I shall be the judge of that. Now, Captain? Did you have something to report to me, or did you not? Yes, sir. Monsters. They've invaded the square. Monsters? I'll take care of it. <laughs> hey, wait! It's not safe! This city is overrun. For decades I've worked to purge the city of those wretched gypsies, and now the streets teem with even more disgusting vermin that threaten law and order. I knew it was Dream Eaters! What are you doing? You need to run! Oh no! I couldn't! Today's the festival, and look! I'm the King of Fools! Ah! Hmm? Quasimodo! <gasps> it's my master. No! Oh, please stop! Why doesn't anything ever go the way I want it to? Get to safety! Let me help. Huh? Who are you? Esmeralda. I'm a gypsy. Thank you. I'm Sora. Okay, now you've got my attention. What? A dream eater. And a big one. What? Uh. Huh. Well, like this is fair. No use. I gotta run for it. Stand aside. Captain Phoebus. I will not. What have these people done wrong? I have proof this family gave harbor to gypsies. That's not a crime. I can think of few crimes that are greater. No. Oh. <laughs> what demon is this? Oh, you are mistaken, Captain Phoebus. This is no demon. It is righteous judgment. I have been granted this power so that I may smite all gypsies now and forever. This is all wrong. He won't listen. Once you've fallen that far, there's almost no coming back. How dare you? I am a virtuous man. Good and evil shall be made plain. Once the gypsies face the fires of judgment. <laughs> no, you don't. You all right? Well, I can't say you didn't warn me. You should take it easy. I'll deal with Frollo. Thanks. I gotta tell you, this is embarrassing having to rely on a kid. You wouldn't be the first. Sorry. I'll admit, you look more capable than me right now. All right. Be careful. 
It looks like that creature is heading for the cathedral. Okay, got it. I wonder if that guy is alright. Quasi... what was it? This is Big Marie. Hello! She likes you. <laughs> Looks like Quasi's gonna be just fine. Indisputably. He's tough! We may be hard as stone, but Quasi's stronger. I know. Whoa! Talking gargoyles! Excuse us for having personality. Hmm? You could stay here forever. No, I couldn't. Oh yes, you have sanctuary. But not freedom. Gypsies don't do well inside stone walls. You helped me. Now, I will help you. But there's no way out. There's soldiers at every door. We won't use a door. It's all right. Huh? Are you ready? Huh? Didn't expect that. So how come you and Quasimodo are so close? We've been friends for years. More than a decade of camaraderie. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He never leaves? Oh, he's not allowed to leave. Judge Frollo forbids it. Why? Care to pull up a stool? The short version is, Frollo thinks he's doing Quasi a favor by keeping folks from seeing that mug of his. After a lifetime of watching from the nosebleed seats, Quasi just wanted to go to the Feast of Fools. I just hope this one failure doesn't cause Quasi to give up. He was so close. He can't let his heart be a prison. Don't worry. I'll go talk to him. Oh. Huh? Hello again. Sora, was it? Hold it. You're that guy with Frollo. Easy. I'm not looking for any sort of fight. Well, well, Finally, someone sensible. I'm Phoebus. Tell me, is she still safe in the cathedral? If she is Esmeralda, then Quasimodo helped her escape. Blast. What's wrong? It's Judge Frollo. He's obsessed with destroying the gypsies, and his mind is in a dark place. When I objected to his barbarous actions, he banished me from the guard. What? That's not fair. Don't worry about me. Frollo said he's found the Court of Miracles, the Gypsy's Haven within the city. Esmeralda and her friends are in danger. Huh? We have to find them and warn them before Frollo gets there. Huh? Quasimodo! Esmeralda's in trouble! Where did she go? I don't know. She... She vanished into the streets. She gave me this pendant. Esmeralda oh. said this would help us find her. When you wear this woven band, you hold the city in your hand. <gasps> it's the city! It's a map, see? Here's the cathedral and the river. Go this way, cross the bridge and... The Court of Miracles! Well done, Quasimodo! Yeah, Quasi? Nice! Yes. I'm going to save her. Quasimodo? What are you doing here? Phoebus and I came to warn you. Frollo's on his way. Take what you can and flee. Well <laughs> done, Captain Phoebus. Thankfully, you are every bit as predictable as I had hoped. Dear Quasimodo, I always knew you would someday be of use to me. I have you at last, you witch. There'll be a bonfire in the square. No! Please, Master! Frollo, I won't let you do this! 
No! Quasimodo? Esmeralda! Phoebus! He's taking her to a bonfire in the square. I gotta hurry! Esmeralda! Way to go, Quasi! I should have known you'd risk your life to save that gypsy witch. Just as your own mother died in her pitiful attempt to save you. What? Now, I'm going to do what I should have done 20 years ago! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> and he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit forever! Quasimodo, you can't let your heart be- I know. I can't blame Frollo for putting walls around me. It wasn't the walls that were holding me back. Hmm. But my heart is free now. I'm ready to really see what's out there. All that time, Quasimodo let himself be trapped inside the nightmares Frollo gave him. Hypocrite. You are the one who has made your heart a prison. You again! What are you talking about? Even if you are not the prisoner. Huh?
My heart's a prison? Hey, Axel. You haven't forgotten. Hmm? What? You made us a promise. I did? That you'd always be there. To bring us back. Yeah. Got it memorized? <laughs> Best friends forever. Where? What happened to me? Roxas. That's me. Dylan. Alias. Evan. Yenzo. Only the ones who joined the organization here. I guess Xehanort doesn't count. But where are Bragg and... Isa? Is she going to be all right? Quasimodo, where did the creature go? It's... it's up there. Right. Wait. Wait, I'll go with you. Thanks, but stay with her. <laughs> yes, let it burn. The flames will consume everything. You see? This is the power that has been granted to me! I see a sad old man with a dark heart. Again, you are wrong! Now you will be judged! Just like the rest! You're Ansem! Why are you here? Your best friend is never far. So sad. The cost of yielding to the darkness. You could write a book about that. But I embrace the darkness. And unless you hurry <laughs> up and learn to do the same, your story will end just like his. I walk the road to dawn. Still afraid of the dark, I see. Hm. Wait! <laughs> he thinks I'm afraid of the dark? No. Not while I have the Keyblade. It will guide me to the light! Wow! Poor father worried sick. Hmm. Still, that little fella's some miracle. Imagine, Mr. Geppetto's wooden puppet brought to life by the Blue Fairy. She made his wish for a son come true because he's given so much happiness to others. 
Now Pinocchio needs me to guide him and be his conscience. So maybe one day he can be a real... <laughs> well, now let's not get ahead of ourselves, Jiminy. First, you gotta go find Pinocchio. Huh? Hey, Jiminy, what's up? Hmm? Who are you? You shouldn't be here, young man. What? Are you okay, Jiminy? Huh? You mean you've heard of me? <laughs> well, I'll be. The name Jiminy Cricket's already spread far and wide. Really? You feeling all right? It's me, Sora. Sora, you say? Hmm. Gosh, I don't think I recognize you. But the name does have a familiar ring. Um... Oh, yeah. The real Jiminy Cricket wasn't trapped in this world, so maybe it's like the dream world's putting him back where he belongs. What's that? I can't hear you. Right. It's very nice to meet you, Jiminy. Well, sure. <laughs> the feeling's mutual, Sora. Oh, yeah. So how come you said I need to get out of here? <laughs> you can't fool me. You still think we know each other, and you've just about got me thinking it, too. Hmm, but where was I? Oh yes, this is a terrible place. Boys here are allowed to wreck things and loaf around and make jack mules of themselves. And poor lost Pinocchio. He wandered in here on my watch. <gasps> That's right. That's where I must have heard your name, Sora. From my friend, Pinocchio. He knows me? But how? Master Frollo, he made me live inside the bell tower, but the real walls were the ones I built around my heart. You helped me see that, Riku. I was speaking from personal experience. I'd say you still keep a lot locked inside. We all do that sometimes. There are just some things we need to keep separate from the world at large. At least until we have time to figure them out. I know the road my heart walks. <laughs> 